Hello and good morning to everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are already a subscriber, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Denise and I am Dear Designs. Uh, this is my YouTube channel just to, um, for me really, to keep an update on what I have made in the past. Not that I'll probably watch many videos back, um, but for your in entertainment as well. Um, if you are um, a returning viewer, you will notice that I haven't got black roots anymore. So I'm so thankful <laughs> they were um, just a little bit bad. And I've had loads of length taken off. Um, yeah, so that is how short it is now. I'm, it really, really needed a cut. It was just awful. So I'm so glad that um, I've had that done. I was really debating whether to have it shorter. When I mean shorter, I mean like roughly at the back. Uh, a bit and longer at the front but I've gone for this I've just clipped the front up because it's in my face but yes that's that um, I've gone with a ro rose gold colour the light if you watch my videos you will know I have a terrible problem with the light um, just because it comes straight through the window but anyway um, it's a rose gold colour it was a crazy colour if I believe crazy colours in America and elsewhere um, so it's a washing not washing wash out but it lasts a little while um, and if you've got blonde hair it does stick a little bit anyway so that's not a problem anyway let's get on with the crochet and then well the knitting should I say because I don't have any crochet I'm on a knitting kick at the moment my throat <coughs> excuse me I'm doing this quite early today because I've got a few things to do. Um, we've got a big party tomorrow, um, so we're preparing for that today um, and this evening. And then tomorrow, it's it's a not a house party, but it is at a house. It's at my other half's parents. It's his dad's birthday party, so there's quite a few people coming. Um, so yeah, but anyway. Right, I have finished the favourite shawl that I was showing you in the last video. Um, this is done in the King Cole Splash in the stone colour. Um, and I just used two balls of it. Um, I didn't really go by anything else other than I'm going to use the two balls and that's it. I was thinking of just using one ball, but it got to probably about there, so it was like sort of that sort of size, and I didn't think it was really big enough, so I just went with the two. Um, I did the eyelets in my own sort of, oh I'll put a row here, so at the bottom there's hair everywhere, I do apologise. This is one reason why I did get it cut because it was just falling out like mad. Um, there's a couple of eyelet roll ro rows, <laughs> not rolls. <laughs> um, then one in the orange, um, one up there. I don't know how well you're seeing these. And then I thought, oh, I'd put three together. So I did three together. Then I did one, one row. Then right at the end, I did two. So three, one and a two. And it's um, longer, than my, longer than my wingspan if I hold it. So it's that much longer that side, that much longer that side. Um, I haven't blocked it yet. <coughs> um, this is one thing that I wanted to ask as well. Um, I know Juliet, you've made this um, shawl. She's Pink Butterfly on YouTube. Did you block your shawl? Um, I'm not going to edge it with anything. I think it looks okay. Um, did you block it? Because I do know with garter stitch, as you can see, it does stretch quite a lot. But, once you've got it on, everybody I've asked said, oh, I don't like the colours. They're not, they're not me. But, I thought under, I've got like a khaki green coat with the leather sleeves and... I thought under that, the orange and the brown would look really nice. Um, but yeah, 
I just thought under a coat, it's just, for me it's just like a scarf. Um, I'm really pleased with it. It's not really a shawl type, you can't really wear it as a shawl. Um, I don't really know how to wear these to be honest, like the asymmetric things. Um, I do normally like everything to be symmetric. Um, is it symmetric? Whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's that. That is my finished object for this week. Um, I don't know how many stitches I had in the end. Um, I just went with it basically. So yeah, I haven't blocked this. Um, and I have said, I did say to Ian the other night, um, I might need to nick them, nick them blocking boards that you've got. And he went, they're car mats, not blocking boards. I said, no, but I'll use them as blocking boards. <laughs> um, so he's got another three in the car. Um, just because we haven't taken them out yet. I took my three out. Um, and the other three are in the boot of the car. But to block this, if I block it, um, yeah, I think it might need a little wash or something because some of the stitches are a little bit uneven. I think just towards the end, I was just getting so bored of knitting this uh, just because it's all guard stitch. Um, there has got to be over 200 stitches at the, at the end. Um, I was getting a little bit bored and I did just knit on this continuously just because I wanted it done and finished. So this is my shawl and today is absolutely poured down already. The windows are soaking wet. It's not raining at the moment but it's not a good sign. Um, so yeah, this is my finished shawl. My work in progress. Um, <clears throat> my socks. I have only one sock. Um, because I was knitting on that shawl so much. If you want to know what that shawl is, it's um, favourite shawl by Lisa Doherty or something. I have linked it in my last video. Um, and I have shown, I did show it on my last video as well if you're interested in um, what pattern that is. But it's just a triangular shawl. It's so, um, not easy, but it's so easy to adapt. But anyway, let's get on with this. Um, this is <coughs> the King Cole Zigzag in Strata. Um, I'm quite liking it actually. Uh, I, I am... When I first started doing it, it was a bit like, I'm not sure of the colours and, um, but I think the more I've done, the more I, I have enjoyed it. I put the, I, because I have been doing the shawl only, um, I was up to the heel, um, and because that was guard stitch, I could take that out with me. This, I had to put, I was up to the heel, doing the heel, you have to sort, well, for me personally, I have to sit down, um, without in, any interruptions because obviously your, all your stitches, I do a wrap and turn heel so all your stitches are on the needles and you've just got to keep going until you get them back off. But as you can see the way the actual yarn is um, patterned, it's patterned perfectly for the heel and I did not do this on purpose um, it was just it's just happened um, if you see the bottom of the heel is pink polka dot type and the top is green um, I couldn't believe it when it happened and then as you can see the top of the foot so this with the pink is the back of the heel where I've just carried on knitting the heel um, and then this top bit is carried on after the green, as if you can see here. So this is the yellow, this is the polka dot, the green, and then the yellow again. So this has just turned out perfect because really you're not even going to notice that there's a break in the, in the pattern repeat or anything. Um, I was so pleased when I did that. Um, I did this bit of the cuff or the ankle. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to do them yet, so uh, it is just basically a pattern, 
I've used a few patterns to get this pattern, if you know what I mean. It's a 64 stitch in the round. Um, I used the Turkish cast on just because Judy's Magic cast on, I can't grasp the aspect of that. And the Turkish cast on, I find, is exactly the same. Um, it, that's how I like to do it. Um, <clears throat> so that is my cast on. Uh, I cast it on... 14 stitches hold on One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13 or 14 I thought it was it was 14 14 stitches um, where was it 12 Oh, I can't remember. I have got it on um, my Ravelry. I have done a project for this. Just because I thought I might get into Ravelry a little bit more just for my projects. Because I'm writing them in a book and the book is just getting so battered and the pages are ripping out. And so I thought, and, and on Ravelry, it's easier just to click on, have a look. Um, so yeah, this, and then you increase for the toes. I've got a 24 centimetre foot. I don't know what that is in inches, I didn't look. Um, and, oh, my tape measure is here. So uh, a 24 centimeter is a nine and a half inch foot. I'm a size six. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with these so far. Um, nothing really else to say. Ah, one other thing is I brought <coughs> these pony circular needles. Because if you remember last, time I was having trouble getting the stitches back onto the needle um, and I bought these from eBay I think they're only a couple of pound well these are even worse and um, these are the pony ones and um, the join is terrible and I just cannot get to grips with these so I thought I'd just stick with these ones because these ones are working better than they did in the beginning I don't know whether because I don't know, I'm, I'm used to how I've got to twist the needle and the yarn just a couple of times to get the last one on because your last stitch is always a little bit tighter. So they're rubbish. Um, I say rubbish, I just don't find them very good for what I'm doing. That's that. Um, my other work in progress. Casey, if you are watching, please close your eyes. <laughs> um, my next work in progress is in this little bag it's got little bows on it and i got this from b&m anyway i am making one of these she probably will see it before because she's actually coming around today so um i might show her so this is a car seat um blanket and it has the holes for the buckle can you see the holes for the buckle so the baby can't kick the blanket off or anything like that um she is finding out what she's having on the 20th of september um and she is having a gender reveal party um so she's finding out what she's having on the 20th and then on the 24th of september which is my birthday um we are going to find out what the gender is, so a bit of a uh, present for me, whether I'll get a niece or a nephew. Um, but I am doing this in a lovely grey colour. I don't know how well you're going to see the colour, but this is, I'll show you, it's Stylecraft Chunky in silver. I have three balls of this, and if you are a... Um, if you've been watching my channel for quite a while, I bought three balls of this to do myself a top. Um, I did one in pink and it was quite a holy top and you had to use one 10mm needle and one 20mm needle. Um, I wore it in a couple of videos back. Um, it's a very, very old, it's quite a vintage pattern. So um, one of the ladies that I used to work with um, gave it to me. But anyway... I thought I'd do it in grey, um, so I'm doing that and then I thought I could either um, embellish it with um, pink 
flowers or pink or blue elephants because the top bit is, is um, you fold over the top bit you fold over you see that bit there so I thought I could um, do something like that and I do know that my sister likes grey anyway so and I thought for a boy or a girl um, if I did it in white it might get a little bit grubby I've done hundreds well not hundreds but I've done loads in white but I'm just thinking that with babies and milk and dribble and milky stick and I thought this might be a better colour um, if she wants a white one I can do a white one that's not a problem or a pink one or a blue one um, but that that will keep her going for the first couple of months it's up to a nine month or until they're too big for it really um, so that is one thing that I'm doing that's all I've got to show uh, there is one thing that I wanted to get started as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show this and I'm gonna show something else that sort of um, ties it together anyway excuse me I have got a drink here hold on one second my first coffee of the day In my I'm usually gorgeous but it's my day off <laughs> I've had this cup for so many years okay so I was on Facebook well, I'm on Facebook every day but um, I saw something come up you know you see all the pages and all the different things that you see um, and I think it was on some on a group that I'm in someone had posted this link and I was like oh let's have a look anyway um, you may um, hate me because <laughs> I'm gonna talk about Christmas um, I know it's only September um, normally because mine and Ian's birthday is in September we don't do anything um, about Christmas until after that so beginning of August, uh, October we normally Think about Christmas but because I see this I thought oh that's a good idea um, good stash buster um, and these are Christmas tree lights um, it's on the page repeat craft of me um, and they're just like little bulb things like that um, and then you can hang them you get the idea um, <clears throat> and someone did them with the grey string type thing or grey yarn um, anyway so I thought that's a good idea because a couple of days before that I went in Poundland and I bought a cocktail jar um, it's just plastic I think they um, use these for like Halloween and things um, and they've brought them back out but it's just um, a bowl a, um, a punch bowl they called it um, and I filled up my scrap not scraps my um, what did I just call it stash my, my odds and ends basically and this ain't all of it um, <laughs> just because I couldn't fit it all in I didn't want to fill it too much um, see here <laughs> Uh, so yes, I've just put some nice, as you can see, the, the light is driving me mad. Um, I've just put some nice colours in here. Um, and I'm thinking, well, I've got yellow, I've got green, I've got red. Um, I've got all different colours that I could make these lights with. Um, I've got dark blue, pink. You can make them any colour you want, really. Um, so I thought I might do a little stash busting with those um yeah so anyway this was from poundland um i haven't seen them in any other shop but i have been watching amy florence and she's got a lovely vase up at the side of where she uh, records it's quite big it's three or four times the size of this um and i i did say oh that's really really nice um, and then I went to pound the, sh the pound shop and I saw this and I thought, oh, I could do it with that. Um, yeah, it's only a pound. It's, 
I have a table here um, and I have made it my little knitting table, crochet table. I have my needles on it, I have my pin cushion, I have a book on it and I have my temperature blanket underneath uh, just because that won't fit on the table. So yes, that's that. Then last week, I can't remember if I was saying about business cards. I don't think I was, but I am, because I'm crafty, because, not in a bad way, <laughs> because we are in the craft community, um, I thought I would try making my own business cards. Um, I have got business cards from, for, from Vista Print before. You can probably see the box up here, but they were for my hairdressing, um, and I haven't got ones that are for my made by their designs so I just picked up some card while I was in the pound shop um, I have ordered a stamp um, so that will be on the front of the business card itself and then because I want to try um, sending things off to people as um, giveaways and things like that basically I am in the process of making some more stitch markers, progress keepers. Um, I haven't done any this week just because I was waiting for lobster claws. Um, so I have still got some in my Etsy shop. Um, let me get some of these out. If you've seen last week then these are just the same as last week's but a little butterfly. Um, I have a Celtic knot. I have also, um, my sister has kindly given me a big bag of wooden Scrabble letters. Um, let me see if I can quickly find them. Um, what would I have done with them? They may be in this bag. No, they're not in that bag. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so she's given me a big bag of Scrabble letters and I was thinking that people could have their initials or their business, if they've got a little business, um, they could have it on a bag. The one I was using for the scarf, the, I was using this one and I've just put it on um, the zipper just to keep it on there. Um, so what I'm going to do is drill a tiny little hole in the top and um, attach a lobster claw. Oh, there's a hole in the bottom of this bag. End up with uh, Scrabble letters everywhere. Um, but yeah, Scrabble is a game that is played hell of a lot in my family. Um, my sister, my mum and my granddad play it all the time. Um, it's just a well-known game that everybody played when I was little. Um, always had a Scrabble board, always. Um, even travel Scrabble boards and things like that. It was always, it's always been part of my life, basically. I can't play it because I can't spell to save my life. Um, I'm absolutely terrible, really, really bad. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that's just that. But my sister's really good. Um, my granddad and my mum, well, my mum normally beats everybody. Um, and then my granddad goes, I'm not playing no more. And then 10 minutes later, it's like, I want another game. <laughs> so, but yeah, I thought I would, um, well, she gave me these. I, 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 I did see them. And I was like, oh, well, where did you get those? I'm going to get some. She went, no, you can have these. Because, um, so yeah. So... I'm going to make some of those. I have still got some in my Etsy, Etsy shop. Look. Um, but other than that, that's all that I've really been up to. My temperature blanket I haven't touched. That shawl did take hell of a lot, long time because the rows were so long. Um, yeah, I think I was just getting bored as well. So I'm excited to, to do the car seat, blanket, <coughs> car seat blanket and the socks. Um, other than the Christmas lights. I haven't really got anything else so um, yeah that's about that so I'm gonna do a little bit of my blanket probably today um, 
before because my mum and my sister are coming around so before they come and yeah that's about it so if you have ever done a garter stitch scarf um wrap cowl whatever um have you blocked it um because i would like to know whether it would be better it's it's quite drapey anyway because it was done on a five millimeter hook um, and it's only a double knit so it's quite drapey anyway um me personally i don't think i need it any bigger but does it make it any softer does it make it just more drapey i don't know i'm just rambling so that's all i've been up to this week um i don't know whether i'm gonna have much update for next week because i'm busy the weekend um but who knows there might be loads done um so yeah watch this space um also i have got a group on facebook um it's called dear designs if you are a member of my um page uh, handmade by dear designs there is a link at the top and it's my group and it's just for everyone to post their whips their finished objects a little bit of chatter whatever you want to whatever you want to put on there that's fine um I just want to try and keep my page and my group a little bit separate just because on my page I do put finished objects um, more than my whips and things like that so and I do um, I do not sell but I do get orders through my page um, I will every now and get now and then now and then put things on there but I do want to try and keep it a little bit separate so if you want to go and have a look at that, then you're welcome to. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, I will catch you next week. Um, as I said, I will be doing this as a minimum once a week video on a Friday. Um, if there's anything in between, then I will show you. I was trying to get that to have a, mid a midweek video, but it was just taking me so long. Um, but yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? It's it's a hobby and I don't want to make it something where I'm thinking, oh, I've got to make this, oh, I've got to make that. That's why I try not to make things that I don't want to do because then it becomes a chore. So I like to make things that I want to make. Um, or if I see something and someone goes, oh, I really like that, can you make me one? And I like it, I'll do it. Um, not that I'm going to say no to anything, but... There is bits that if it's something really big and I'm a bit like, mm. if I'm not going to enjoy it, what is the point? So, but anyway, I'm going to go drink my coffee. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.